All right, welcome back to my painting nightmare. All right, so it's been an interesting couple of uh, couple of weeks. Been doing more painting, obviously. The bumper is painted. Uh, side skirt is painted. Now, fun story behind that. Now, when I was painting it, base coat went fine. Lacquer, not so good. The compressor decided to spit out a load of water, which ruined the clear coat, so I had to rub it down. And then I freaked out because I was like, is it gonna do it again? So I switched my turbine sprayer, worked fine, but came out a little bit chunky on the clear coat, which is which is gonna happen with that with that turbine system. It's fine, I flat and polished it, it worked out all right. But still a few bits I need to kind of, you know, like kind of blow in. Nothing crazy, so I had to redo that. And I did the side skirt obviously at the same time. And then during the week, when I was flat and polishing it, I managed to burn through the clear coat, so I had to spray it again. All good. One great thing came out of it though, which is these things. So finally got tires on the works. I'm gonna put those on, being flat and polishing this, sprayed the grill black again. So uh, I'll be doing a load of flat and polishing on this because it's just kind of covered in crap and a little bit of overspray as well. So we are looking really, really good. I'm just gonna polish up the roof. I haven't got time to paint the roof. That'll have to wait for another time. But first, let's get some wheels on. Ooh, there's one last thing to go on the wheels. Side skirt. Focus. I've got to put that rear spat on. That one's on. Let's move the car forward so we can kind of get a, a better angle. Just moved it forwards and had a final look. Still need to put one spat on the other side. Get into the corner as much as possible to show you that. Insane. That looks absolutely wild. I'm losing my mind slightly. Unreal. Look at that. Look at it. Absolute madness. I think I think I'm gonna paint the roof. I'm gonna paint the deck lid black again as well. Just because um, it will flow from those little pods. Um, and everything at the top will just look like it's one piece rather than look a bit segmented at the moment. Also probably gonna get the uh, the back windows tinted as well nothing crazy but um yeah look at that <laughs> right let's put that <coughs> i'm dying let's put the other spout on it's the next day spent a lot of time just polishing and just general tidying up of the car um, after I fit the spout obviously, but today I'm gonna go get an MOT. So I will see you back in a second and hopefully it's gonna be road legal. <laughs> we'll see. I left with the car and came back with no car. One thing that happened, um, I forgot that there's a nice big dip outside the garage door. Um, Drove the car out, heard a massive crunch, and broke something. I broke that, which is fantastic. Gonna repair that in a week. Also, the reason the car's not here is um, some of the brake lines just burst. Fantastic. They didn't break when I was driving, they broke when they were testing them, because it's all-wheel drive, they couldn't put it on their machine, um, on their rollers, so they took it out for test drive, and First pump of the brakes, real hard pump of the brakes, brake line went. So it's at their workshop now, and it's gonna get repaired this week. While I repair this. Great.
Update time. So, went to the show, amazing. Said hello to lots of people. It was really, really cool. Um, got the car back and I wanted to do, you know, a video of the car out and about in this video. But, the car had other plans. Um, and I don't know if you can see it. A leak, right there. And that is coming from the radiator which has the transmission cooler built into the bottom of it and that's leaking. So obviously I don't want to drive it with that leaking. So let's fix that. Not good. Right, so been under the car with torch trying to see something or anything. Um, there's not a lot of room in there. It's, um, it's really packed in. Been trying to locate the source of the leak. I thought initially it might have been a transmission cooler line leak, like I said earlier, but it's actually the little cooler core for the power steering. It's just rusted out, so I'm gonna try and show you. So, that cooler line, or that cooler core that runs all the way along here, um, to there, that is pretty rotten. I can't get there, believe me, it's rusted. So, um, yeah, finding one is gonna be difficult, but fortunately you can find, or you can buy a universal one, um, now, rooting it in there, it's going to be pretty damn difficult. So one thing I'm going to do is just leave that one in there and then just bypass, go from the pipes to the front because the new one is like a universal setup and then I can fit it along there quite nicely. It's kind of the same width as a radiator, only kind of like 70 mil high. So yeah, I'll get one of those ordered up and fix that. So hopefully the next video will be kind of a walk around video. Now I was hoping to get it obviously in this video but can't have the plans obviously. So far so good. Everything is going well. Well, apart from that. So yeah, next video, fingers crossed, everything's fixed. Or might do a video on getting that in. I don't know, we'll see. I'll try and get you know more content out for you guys because um, yeah. I'm a slacker, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, full of its ups and downs and trauma, but I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Subscribe, you fools.